Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. This day, not a beautiful walk and talk on the beach, but here at a beautiful complex, a temple complex in Phuket, guys. Of course, amazing Bitcoin charts. Of course, a beautiful trading tip, a beautiful travel tip. Of course, some amazing live advice and also talking about some very special news as this is a very special day for me. So be sure you watch the complete video, especially the end, because there is a very important message, I think, in the end that everyone needs to see today. Let's jump into the first part, the chart. The first chart for the day, guys, is this beautiful day chart again. As you can see, we're finding support on the yellow stepping line. So that's a very positive indication for Bitcoin to not wanting to go down below to that red line over there at 33,000 and not even to the Bollinger Band bottom that we can see at the level there, boop, around 30K. So that Bollinger Band is coming to 30K, the Bollinger Band bottom line, which is really cool which could mean if we retrace, we stay above that 30K level. Uh, we can see on the green and yellow part that we are still yellowish, but we are gonna slightly bend over and become maybe a little bit more green again. You can also see here the white line is pretty flat and the blue line starts to cross over to the top again. Again, the white line is at 83, so that's pretty high if you zoom out. So I still expect I still expect a little pull uh, back on the daily time frame, guys. But again, chance becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Then we stay above that 30K. Beautiful chart, guys. Now let's jump into some very interesting charts. This is the first one. On this chart, you can see, yes, the ultimate bottom, the ultimate cheap period of buying Bitcoin is over. You could have bought Bitcoin near that bottom, even all the way up uh, to that purple line on the bottom goes to 40. That would have been the cheap area of buying Bitcoin. Now we left that cheap area. We are already at the level of 59.89 on the TVI, which means, yes, we can still buy Bitcoin. And yes, we can still make a shitload of profit, but a huge part of the profit is already gone because you didn't buy near that bear market bottom when I told you so. I told you so, buy around 16, 17, 18, 19K. You told me, no, Didi, we will fall to 12K. And many in the comments said to me, Didi, we will fall to 12K. I told you at that moment, time over again and again and again and again, we will not fall to 12K. That's impossible because the miners will go bankrupt. And what did we do? We never went below that 16K to 12K. We went now to 35K. That's a huge part of profit. Your question now is, can I still make more profit? And I'm going to show you that now with the next couple of charts. This is the first chart. This is the gold versus Bitcoin sharp ratio. Really cool to see how every four year cycle, Bitcoin outperforms gold massively. So we can see the green line that is gold and we can see the orange line that is Bitcoin. And yes, gold is very stable and sometimes going up a little bit and then going down again a little bit but in the whole, pretty stable if you compare it to Bitcoin. Because every four year cycle, 2017, bam, massively outperforming. 2021, bam, massively outperforming. And at the moment, yes, gold is even performing a little bit better than Bitcoin. But believe me, that orange line is again going into a huge peak and outperforming gold in 2024, 25. These are the bullish years. You should sell your gold today and buy Bitcoin. If you own gold, sell it, buy Bitcoin and buy back five times the amount of gold that you sold today. Now, here we have a beautiful chart. I found this one on Carl the Moon's Twitter. I really like the chart and uh, we can see that the cross happened again on the weekly chart. So we are above the 50 week moving average. I've been sharing this chart with you already also for many times, uh, the weekly chart, but also sharing you other people's charts. So now this chart, yes, we can see that we are above that 50 weekly moving average. And yes, the cross already happened. So yes, we will go into that green box after the halving and that will be the bull market. No specific targets in this one, but yes, it will be a period that Bitcoin will go up tremendously. Next chart. We have the Bitcoin price 2012-20 versus 2016-24. Look how beautiful these two lines are correlating with each other. These are two cycles of eight year, 2012 to 2020. Eight years, that means two tops, as you can see, 
even three tops, and we had a double top in 2013-14, then the single top in 2017, bear market bottom, and then we started to go up again in 2020. And now we're comparing the 2016 to 2024, again, eight years period with that line. Again, the first huge top, bear market, 2021, second huge top, bear market, 2023, we are going to go slowly up into 2024 and then again massively pumping in 2025. That is how Bitcoin is going to move, in my honest opinion. Then we have this one. This is not a normal chart. This is the volatility chart. This is showing us how volatile Bitcoin has been in the last 12 months. And it wasn't that really volatile. In the beginning it was, and then in the end it started to get less and less volatile all the way up to October, when we became more volatile again now at the end. And why do I share this chart with you? Because this is one of the charts that you will see when you go to the back end of our trading bot. As you know, we have a trading bot that will give you around 3% on average a month on return on investment. So that's 3% a month times 12 is 36% a year on your portfolio. And we are trading Bitcoin or USDT, and we can trade spot or we can trade leverage with 1.5, so that's a huge leverage with a small leverage. There is a very low possibility of liquidation, but you can use that bot instead of just hodling your Bitcoins. If you hodl your Bitcoins, of course, there's a beautiful return on investment. If you use the bot, the return on investment will a little bit be bigger, around 3% a month. This chart is showing you that 2023 was not that really volatile. It was not the vol most volatile year ever. I'm going to show you the performance now of that bot in 2023 while the market was not that volatile. Now, we can see that in January we did only 0.48%, in February 1.12%, March 4.3%, then April 2.4%, May 1.6%, June 1.5%, July 1.4%, August, the volatility started 7.3%, September 1.6%, and October 1.4%. In total, in those 10 months, we made around 23.44%. So that's 2.3% per month. Now we have two months left, which will be November and December. If the bot will perform as normal, 3 to 4% a month, then again, the average of this year will be around that 3%. And that is including the bear market period. So just imagine now 2024 and 25 becoming a bull market period. This bot is going to outperform, of course, just holding your Bitcoins. And here you can see all the trades that we did in uh, the last month, in the month of October. You can see every time when it bought the blue dot arrows and when it sold the red arrows. So if you sign up to the bot by using the link down below uh, this video, you will find all this data in your backend. You can see which trades are being traded, you can see your profits, you can see how much of your profits you need to share with uh, Trade with Sequence. Again, this is not a product by the Bitcoin family, it is a product by Trade with Sequence. We only made a deal with them that if you sign up using the Bitcoin family link, you get an extra bonus and you get uh, to share less of your profits with Trade with Sequence. So if you want to join it, then go to the website bitcoinfamily.com and in products you will find uh, automated trading like a bot or you go to trade with sequence slash tbf and you will find this page where you can see a beautiful video on how i explain how the bot works and what you can do um, to make a little bit more profit than just holding your bitcoins now then we have one more chart guys that is this chart beautiful chart by plan b uh, you can see of course the realized price um, is now beautifully above the five month realized and above the two year realized and above the realized cost price. And if you now look to the left on this chart, every time when these red dots start to be above those three lines, what happened? Let's take a look the first time in 2012. The red dot above that light bluish line, blue line and black line, bull market. 2013, bull market. Now let's take a look at 2015, when we started to have the first red dot, just in the last month, I think in December 2015, above the blue, above the light blue, and above the black. Massive bull market. Again, in 2019, when we started to see the dots above those three lines, massive bull market. And what are we seeing now? 
we are seeing two dots above those three lights. I am expecting a massive bull market. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. I think these charts were amazing to show you again that it's very important to zoom out in Bitcoin, guys. It's very important. A very important part also of the charts was that the bot is outperforming hodling. And I'm always reminding you to this, that you can use this beautiful trading bot that will automatically trade all these Bitcoins for you. You just need to connect your Bitcoin wallet to the trading bot so you keep your own Bitcoins in your own wallet and it will start to trade it. For example, spot trade it with a leverage of 1 or for example, leverage trade it with a leverage of 1.5. I'm using 1.5 leverage and that gave me now almost a result of 24% in just 10 months. And I think it will become in 12 months around 3%, just like we are promoting it. It's around 3% a month if you zoom out on a yearly base. If you want to have more information about that bot, then go down below the video to the link sequence trade with sequence slash tbf and you will find all the information even an informational video over there on how it works go check it out guys now let's jump into the trading tip the trading tip for today guys is use moving averages use the 50 day moving average use the 200 day moving average these moving averages will help you determine what the trend is uptrend consolidation sideways trend or a downtrend. This moving average will also help you to determine what is your resistance and your support levels. So always put the 15 or 200 on your charts if you look at a day chart for example. Moving averages are a very helpful tool to determine what the trend is but also where are the resistance and where are the support levels. So that was the trading tip for today while I'm sweating my ass off. Use moving averages. After that trading tip of moving average, I moved into the shadow because it's bloody hot on the other side of the temple, guys. The travel tip for today is always use a reusable water bottle. Do you remember these situations on the airport when you have these plastic bottles? You go into security, you need to hand over the plastic bottles and then again buy new ones after security. If you use a reusable bottle, you don't have that issue. You don't have that stress in your mind. You don't have that mind fuck. You just go through security, you refill the bottle at the end of security. That's how simple it is. And you also save the environment because you're not using too much plastic. So my travel tip for today is use reusable bottles. There's a very beautiful Bitcoin reusable bottle. I'll put the link down below and that I also use. It's a very cool one and the Bitcoin color a little bit with a Bitcoin logo. Check that one out. Uh, I'm not being paid. I don't have any referral fees over there. It's just giving you a beautiful tip maybe for Christmas to buy for your husband if he doesn't have one yet. A reusable water bottle. That was a travel tip for today. Then the question of one of the followers, guys, the question of one of the followers was about uh, the stable coins. Because I always say like in the bull market, up, I will exchange my cryptocurrency into stable coins uh, to wait for a crash. And his question now is, do you keep those stable coins on the exchange or do you put those stable coins uh, back into your hardware wallet? Very good question. But to be very honest, the bear market is also a market I trade. And so I always leave a certain amount of USDT, stable coins, or DAI, or USDC on Bybit because I want to trade the bear market. It's a beautiful market to short certain assets. So for me, I always keep a bit on these exchanges. Of course, the biggest part, like 70%, will be on hardware wallets. So even during the bull market, when I'm making profits, while I'm making profit, I'm diversifying already between hardware wallets and exchanges. So from the moment I start to make profit, I try to keep the balance 70-30. 70% on self-custodial hardware wallets, 30% on exchanges or investments or trades. So for me, I keep that balance all the way, not only at the bull market top, also during the bull market when I'm making profits. A part will go into self-custody and a part will stay on the exchanges to trade and to make some more profits. So at the end, when the bull market is out and I took all my profits because of dollar cost, everything out of Bitcoin, a huge part of those stable coins will also be on my hardware wallets. But also a 30% to 40% part, depends on how I feel, will be on exchanges because I want to trade the bear market. So you need to choose for yourself how you feel safe. I feel pretty safe with having my assets on Bybit. So I don't have any worries about having 20% or 10% of my capital over there, for example. And that will be stable coins when we are at the top, because if we crash down, yes, I will be buying back again, of course. And of course, during the bear market, playing the market as well. 
So that was the answer to that question about stablecoins. The news for today, guys, is that there is no news I want to talk about today. I want to talk today about something else. It is the 8th of November. And the 8th of November is my father's birthday. And as you all know, my father passed away around almost eight years ago now. Next January, it will be eight years. So today, on this beautiful day, the 8th of November, 8th being his lucky number, I want to talk about a little bit more about life than about the crypto news, guys. So I'm going to talk about a beautiful story about my father and me and how that changed my complete personality when I was very young. My father was a professional football player, a very successful one. He played for VVV Venlo and for Fortuna Sittard and Sitta. When I grew up as a little kid, I went into the stadiums to watch him play. And people started to call him Winnetou because he had long hair, he was a dark guy, he looked like an Indian and he was really fast. And I heard the people cheering and I saw the people posting pictures of him in newspapers and everything when I grew up. So while I grew up, I told my father, I also want to become a professional football player. That is the dream. You know, at that time you saw Marco van Basten, Ruud Gullit, Rijkaard, all these players. And I was like, wow, Diego Armando Maradona, wow, that's what I want to be. So he told me, yes, and then we start training. So I started to train every day with him, at home, on the football pitch, everywhere. We even trained when we were on holiday. And believe me, at that moment, I did hate my father now and then, training on a holiday. Finally, he had a whole year of school, football and trainings, and then you go for three weeks to Spain, to a beautiful campsite, and he's like, we're going to train every day because the next season you, gotta, you need to be stronger. And I was like, Dad, it's three week holiday. We are going to make you stronger for the next season. So every morning on that holiday, we woke up at 6 in the morning because then it was still cool outside in Spain. We went into the campsite football pitch. I did my running task, like, you know, the running the envelopes, sprinting, doing the 12-minute walk. Then we went into kicking the goals, even giving assists, me kicking them with my head, with my foot. All of the kind of practices, putting the ball there on the 16-meter, five balls, Kicking them, running back, kicking them, running back. You know all the football drills that I needed to have to become a better person. And he did that even on the beach. Even on the beach. After a morning of training, in the afternoon we went to the beach, he was like, ah, let's play another game of tennis. You know that beach tennis? He wanted to beat me on a small square and he let me run from left to right to left on the beach. You know how fucking heavy that was for my legs? And if it wasn't that, it was like, okay, let's do some more sprints. Your interval needs to go up, your condition needs to be better. So he went to the beach and he put there these beautiful points of 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters and 50 meters and I need to sprint. Sprint 10 meters, take it easy back. Sprint 20 meters, take it easy back. 30 meters and back and 40 meters and 50 meters. And then again 50 meters and 40 meters and 30 meters. All of that during my holiday. And then I was like, man, why do you do that to me in my holidays? When I grew older, I started to realize, wow, it was also his holiday. It was his vacation as well. And he didn't take a break. Even during his vacation, he took a time to train me every day. He could have been on the beach or drinking coffee, reading the newspaper. No, he took his time to train me. And when I grew older, I started to understand how beautiful that was. I started to become thankful for what at that time I hated. And that shift from hating things or, or not being happy because of the stuff you don't have to being thankful for everything that you have was a huge shift in my life. At that moment, I was too young to realize that because then I became a professional football player. He got me that far, that I went to Fortuna Sittard. I played there for my youth, from 12 years old, all the way up to 18 years old. I played together with Mark van Bommel, Kevin Hofland, Fernando Rixen, all players that played in the Dutch national team. I could have made it as well if I would have listened to my coaches. But already at that age, I had this very strange urge 
that I want to be different, I want to play different, I want to do it in a different way. I didn't want to do it in the way the coaches told me to do it. I thought I could do it better. And sometimes I did better and I performed, but then still they were like, hey, you should do it, you should have done it like that. So the professional career of six years that never resulted in me becoming a real professional football for one of the first teams of one of these beautiful leagues in the Netherlands or internationally, I want to go to Barcelona. Of course, I went to the highest amateur league and of course I filled my bags over there. Football was my passion and it became the best version of footballer in me because I had a passion for football. Because of that passion, I was able to train every day, to just take it up, to just tell my father, okay, uh, I will go again and again and up the stairways, bop, and back and down and up and down. Improving your 12 minute run. You need to make more kilometers. You need to make three kilometers now. You know, for example, I don't know the numbers anymore. I think it was 2.4 kilometers I need to run in the 12 minutes or something like that. But because of the passion, I was able to perform and have a beautiful, beautiful youth. Even when I went to college in the Netherlands, I studied higher economics. I was still playing on a pretty high level and still earning every month a beautiful buck. So I was not a poor student at all. I was studying higher economics. I started to understand the economics and I was making money with my passion at the same time. The moment I left that passion football and I needed to go only for jobs, that is when I understood this is not my passion, working in a square cube with an office and a laptop, talking to people in suits, that was not my passion. I did it for two months and I was gone. That was like, nope, not gonna do that. But at that moment, I started to, at that moment, I started to realize, wow, I am this strong person that I am with my mind because of all those trainings that my father gave me. So at that moment, I started to feel thankful for what he did for me. Of course, he died real young, 60 years old, it's almost eight years ago. My mother even younger, 48 years old. So the combination of all of that, you start to think and rethink life. And that is what led to all the steps that we took from that moment. I started to follow my own gut feeling, my own dreams, because I knew that in the end, even the people that maybe were not agreeing at that moment with this whole adventure would be thankful for what I give them in their youth. I'm talking about my children, of course. Sometimes your kids won't like what you're doing, but when they grow up, they will be thankful for what you gave them. And I think that is very important for everyone to learn. And that's also the life lesson for today. I think people need to practice gratitude way more. Be thankful for what you have, instead of sad of what you don't have. Of course, it's not nice if you don't have the stuff that you want, but please try to be thankful for the stuff that you do have. I think that's way more important. The moment you become thankful for everything you have and everything that happens in your life, more and more and more will come to your path because you are in this positive spiral. When you wake up and you see your wife next to you and she's alive, be thankful for that. When you look into your children's bedroom, and you can still see them breathing in the morning and they are alive, be thankful for them. Yesterday, more than one million people died. You got the chance to wake up healthy. Be thankful for them. Then when you go for breakfast, and breakfast is beautiful, be thankful for them. Then you watch my videos and you're like, wow, beautiful video. Be thankful for them. The moment you're thankful for everything in your life, you will see that you will overcome all the struggles and then you will become this more relaxed, thankful person. The moment you only focus on the thing you don't have and you're sad or not happy because you don't have that, that's a negative spiral. It will bring you more negativity in your life. You will even want to have more different stuff that you don't have at that moment. I think the most important lesson for everyone in life is to be thankful for the things that we already have or experience. So on this beautiful day, the 8th of November, I just want to express my gratitude and say to my mother and father in heaven that I'm very thankful for what you gave me in my youth. How you spend all your time in educating me in my youth, training me, 
showing me a different way of life, showing me the different possibilities in life, showing me that being different is not bad, but good. Because of all of that, I was able to create this beautiful lifestyle now with my children. And yes, it goes with ups and downs emotionally. And sometimes my kids will hate me. But I know one thing for sure. When they grow up and when they leave the house, at the end, they will realize that they are very thankful for what we did for them as well during this phase of their life. And that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and also leave me a comment what you think about the charts, the, all the tips and everything else, and this beautiful temple, of course, behind me. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. I'm going to have dinner with my brother and his wife and my niece Joan today and just celebrate uh, the life that we are living now. And of course, also uh, remembering all those beautiful stories from the youth with my father, with my mother. That's what we always do on these beautiful occasions like a birthday or, for example, the 21st of November. That's the day that my mother uh, passed away. And then we will do that again, guys. So thank you for watching. I'm very thankful that you're a follower. I'm very thankful that you're giving beautiful comments. I'm very thankful that you take the time to watch these videos. So I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again.